if your house caught on fire, would you uh, wait, wait on like your little brother to save you, or would you be waiting on a man who got a fire hose in his hand, a little hat, and a big suit on? You, you waiting on the fireman, right? And yeah. you gonna know what the fireman look like, right? So when we get delivered out of this captivity for coming back into the obedience of God, we want to know what he looks like. Because this is why we go back and forth. When we say certain things, it ought to be justified by the word of God, right? Okay, let's get to church. Let's get to church. Uh, Officer Benai, get your Bible. Got it? Alright. Acts 7 and 37 and verse 38. This is going to show us who the Bible is in context, like you said. Alright? Go ahead, the book read. of Acts chapter 7 and verse 38. Bring it up. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. In the church in the wilderness. Who came out of Egypt and went into the wilderness? Uh, uh, the Israelites. The Israelites yes. under the leadership of? Uh, Moses. Moses. Right. Moses is an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, correct? Okay, yeah. And he brought out the children of Israel. This is the church in the wilderness. In, in the on. book of Exodus. In That's the wilderness. Right. Exodus. Right. Go ahead. Read on. The angel was spoken to him. Uh-huh. The Mount Sinai. Oh, Mount si Sinai is in Jerusalem, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And with our fathers who received the lively orb. Our fathers, mm -hmm. Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Who received the lively oracles, which are what? The laws of God. Right. So right. the church mm -hmm. in the Bible is Israel. Nobody else. Right. That, that, you see that? Pretty, now go back, go back, okay. go back, go okay. back. Okay, okay. When you say... When, when you say the church, the church. Now, when you say the church, now there is a distinction between Israel and Christ. It is? Of course let's, it is. Let's see if there's a distinction between, does it separate yeah. them or bring them together? No, 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 no. I'm asking. When it comes to the church, Israel is not the church. Israel. What did we just read? It, it, it didn't say church. It didn't say church. Christ, it, Christ. Let's, let's read it again. Can we, can we read Christ. it again? Yeah, read it again. In all fairness. Yeah, in all, all fairness. fairness. No, no, you said truth. it didn't say all fairness and truth. Yeah, go ahead. Right? Go ahead. So, read it. in all truth, you said it didn't say church. It, it didn't say Israel is the church. Let's read verse thirty-seven. Okay. That's why right. I asked okay. you to read thirty-seven. You, you have to, you have to interpret it. Let, let's listen. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. listen. The book of Acts, chapter seven and verse thirty-seven. Bring it out. This is that Moses was said to the children of Israel. The children of who? The Israel. children of Israel. Uh huh. Read on. Yeah, go ahead. A right. prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you. Stop so, right there. Who is that prophet that was raised up unto the children of Israel? Because you said there's a distinction between Christ and Israel. And I asked a specific question. Did it separate them? Or bring them no, together. no, no! It didn't. It, it didn't separate them. Okay. But there, there was a distinguishedness between Christ and, and, show and, and Israel. We're gonna show you. Okay. We're go gonna ahead. show you. So read that again, because I want to make sure we get the full understanding. Read. Thank you. The Book of Acts, chapter seven, verse thirty-seven. Uh -huh. Hello. This is that Moses. Moses. Mm -hmm. We said, we said unto the children of Israel. And said unto the who? The children of Israel. Did it say anybody else? The children sure. of Israel. Read on. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you. That prophet okay. is going to be Christ. Read on. Right. Read of on. your brethren. Of your brethren. Mm -hmm. Because we just said Moses is from the tribe of Levi. Read on. Read on. What tribe is Christ from? Read on. What brethren. tribe? It's his brethren. Read on. Brethren. Right. He's Read from on. the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. We can prove that too. Right. Read on. Right. Like unto me, him shall ye hear. Him shall we hear. We should be listening to Christ, right? Read on. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. In the church okay. in the wilderness. Okay. Okay. Moses with okay. the children of Israel okay. this is are the say. church okay. in the wilderness. That's right. That's what do right. we not get about That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Jump right. down to 40, no, 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 47 no. and 48. Please, Please let, let, me let me say something. Verse 48. Let me say something. Let me say something. Who brought them out of the wilderness? Who brought them out of the wilderness? Who brought them out of the wilderness? Let's get that. That's the church. Let's get let's get that. Christ, Christ and God are one. Christ and the church, whom is the whom is the black, they are one. Let's get Israel life. I not, want you to hold Exodus 20 and 2. Listen. And then the I want Israel, you to go back to Acts 7 and verse 47 and 48. But we're gonna dead that church thing. Had guidance so out of the that. All right. So the church is a people, not a place. That's what we're showing. 
Oh, and we already, it already clarified of course. that that okay. is Israel. Okay. So you said, who saved them? Let's read. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Exodus Go ahead. 20 and 2. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, doing? chapter 20 and verse Good. 2. Come over here for a second. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God. It says, I am the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Which right. I brought thee yeah. out uh -huh. of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. who, who do you think is? Out of the house of bondage. Who, 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 is, who is I? Who is I? Read the verse above. Who is I? Read the verse above. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. Who is, he said, I approach. Who is, who is I? Verse 1. And God. Okay. Get through the eye. Hold on, hold on. You're talking while the Bible's coming. Okay, go ahead. Read. And God. God spoke. Spake all these words, mm -hmm. saying, yeah. I am the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Out again. of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So. Right. God rescued us. The Most High God right, rescued us. Understand? Right, right. Now, watch this. Now, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to make a point earlier. Himself. I want you to understand something. Understand this. Go back. You asked the question earlier. Why is it important to know what Christ looks like? John 14 and 9. John 14 and 9. Matter of fact, 7 and 38 first, and then John 14 and 9. I want you to hear the words of Christ. Understand this. Because now he's going to be the one to deliver us. Amen. So it's important that we know who's going to deliver us. Amen. Matter of fact, if your house caught on fire, would you uh, wait, wait on like your little brother to save you? Or would you be waiting on a man who got a fire hose in his hand, a little hat, and a big suit on it? You, you waiting on the fireman, right? Yeah. And you're going to know what the fireman looks like, right? So when we get delivered out of this captivity for coming back into the obedience of God, we want to know what he looks like. Read. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38, because this know. is the problem in our communities. We have not learned at the mouth of God. We learn doctrines. Read. He that believes on me, uh -huh. as, as, what? as the scripture has said. Not as somebody taught me, but as the what? As the scripture has as said. As the what? As the scripture has so, said. So the Bible says that the church is Israel. Done deal. That read, should be a done deal, but read on. Read Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What is living water? What is the li what does that water represent? That, that spirit, that word that comes. In, in other words, the living water is, is the living word of Christ. Oh, the, the, word, living, the word of Christ, yeah. the Bible. Yeah. You'll get understanding of the yeah. Bible, right? Right. Okay, how do we get understanding? Go to. The, I, the Bible, I know I got Bible you all said, over the place. The Bible how do we said, get understanding? Seek ye understanding. Oh, seek the understanding. Seek ye understanding. Okay. The mind, so that seeking, may show thyself for what? Approved. Right. Yeah, so seek. watch this. How do we seek? And how do you gain that understanding? Yeah. Because guess what? Watch this. I'm going to ask you watch this. Watch this. Because these are young men and young women. Right? I got a question. What have y'all learned about the image of Christ? Which one of these pictures shows you what Christ looks like? Based on what you've been taught. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's what you've been talking. That's what you've been. You've been honest, right? And you said this one is Christ, right? Which one you say? You say this one. Oh no, no, that one. You say this one. What you say? What you say? Yeah. Okay, now man. Hold on one second, because I want you to see something. Okay. Huh? Yeah, no, Which one you say? Right there. This one. Over. Right there. Over this one. You said that's Christ. Yeah, please, man. Ask some questions. Yeah, who is Christ? Jesus Christ. What does Jesus Christ look like? All right. So, what I want you to see is even amongst in our neighborhood, is there solidarity with what we know about Christ? Is there? Yes or no? Because these, these young people said, one person said this Christ, said this Christ. Right? So watch this. I want, I want to show you something. I know. I, let, let's, let's read the Bible. And like we did. He's in order. That's the order we in. May I ask a question? Right, I just want to prove this point. Let's read. I, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. The book of Psalms. Educating our people. Read. Chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring it up. We get understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of our wisdom, right? A good understanding of all they that do his commandments. So the real understanding comes with doing the commandments. Right. So what are some of the commandments we should be doing? We should be this. The Bible, the Bible is here for our learning and our teaching. It's not some, it's all. Hey, let me check this out. I have a question. Uh, what you got? Listen, hey. Leviticus 21 and 5. He was asking you guys, which one of these looks like Christ? My question is, bring it up. Which one of these pictures can save you that looks like Christ? This one. No. 
drunk on the street to save you out of your house or save no. your house from burning, you'll be looking for the person in like the big red truck on. with the yellow suit on, with the red hat on, right? Yeah. So image is important, right? Image is very important. Image is, now, did we tell you to bow down to any of these images? All right, that would be idolatry, right? Yeah. According to the Bible. But you do need to know who's going to save you. Understand yeah. that? Yeah. Has a white man ever come into your neighborhood and saved everybody from drug addiction? from drinking too much, from partying and getting shot. Is a white man ever saved you from that? No. Because Christ is not a white man. That's right. That's let's, go, let's go to some cases. Because what has happened is a lot of our older people, they've been indoctrinated. Means they've been taught things for a long time. Let's get what Christ looks like. I'm going to let y'all make a decision. I'm going to let y'all make a decision. Okay? The you book, tell me. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. You know. His hair and his hairs we white like wool so out of the mouth of faith. That's what we're going to do. Which one of these pictures has white, woolly hair? White, woolly hair. You said the first one, right here. Okay. White and woolly hair. What kind of people got woolly hair? Woolly. You know what a sheep looks like? A lamb? What kind of people got white, woolly hair like that? That's Huh? Right there. Hey, okay, hey, like hey, the hey, color, hey, but I'm talking about the texture. The texture of wool. Probably like. Is it straight? Is a, a, the lamb's fur wool uh, 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 real easy to comb through? They would call it nappy. Yeah. So what people have nappy hair? So they say. Huh? Huh? No, not color. Texture. Huh? Texture, like hair texture. Yeah, like hair texture. Woolly hair. Somebody get me a picture of woolly. Woolly hair, black or man. Uh, you said what? The black man has woolly hair. That's right. The, 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 uh, the so-called man. white man and the uh, Arab man, they got that dog stringy hair. You know what I'm saying? Oh, snap. He, he quoted the script. Oh, watch this. We're going to let the Bible speak to All praises. All praises. Read. Oh, what we got? Go back to the script. Go back to the script. So let's look at this. Don't that look woolly? You don't look woolly. Let's get one of a, a, a sheep. Let's get that. So we can see the sheep's hair. All right? But let's read the script. Read on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. It says, no. no woolly hair. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. What does that mean? This, this, what does that mean? I'm this, asking. We're trying to teach. The Holy Spirit. What does, what does, what does, what does this, that mean? If you can answer me? the question, we're going to keep it. I want you to help teaching the children. Do you know what it means? The Holy Spirit just revealed it to me, and you're not allowed for your ears to hear it. Because you're not reading the Bible. Genesis 49, we're going to show you why Christ's eyes were red. We're going to show you. The Bible's going to prove it. See, you wouldn't want to be you. They all praise him. When them bombs drop, we wouldn't want to be you. That's right. That's right. Read on. The book of Genesis, this chapter 49, verse 12. Read on. No. His eyes shall be red with wine. With what? With one. So when people drink, y'all see people drinking in the neighborhood, right? And when they get drunk or uh, start drinking a little bit, even a little bit, right? Don't the uh, whites so of their eyes turn red? But Christ drank in moderation. Christ didn't walk around drunk. Because being drunk is a sin. All right? Go back to Gen uh, uh, Revelation. So now, say white and woolly hair. All right? It, it, you, you missed it. You missed the line up. Here we go. Read on. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet like a divine so, grass. You said, Terriana, Terriana, your feet out, right? If I see your feet, are your feet any different color than the rest of your body? Oh, those over here. They think, huh? Your feet different color than the rest of your body? <laughs> nah, not really. Not really. Read on. And his feet like a divine grass, no. as if they burn in uh -oh. a... Brass. What color is brass? Um, brass. What color is brass? Brass. B B R A S S. What color is a penny? 
brown. Fine grass is the color of brown, but let's see how brown we eat. As if they burn in a furnace. So watch this. We're talking about Jesus Christ. Which one of these pictures is has brown skin? Um, no. This one. Uh, this one. Oh, because guess what? The connection is these people are the same people as yeah. what Christ came from. This right. is Christ's family. Understand that. So if you burn anything in a furnace or burn anything, period, what color does it turn, Terry on them? You look like you done messed up some eggs before. You look like you done, you, you done burned some toast before? Huh? Like, so before um, you even it turned turn black. You burn eggs, what color turn? Black, right? So it says that Christ has the skin tone as if it burned in a furnace. If he looked like he was burnt, what color was it? Huh? So why are they teaching our people white Jesus? When the Bible says He's so black it looks as if he burned in a furnace. Look, That's right. Right. So watch this. Have our people been lied to? Have we been lied to? That's all we're trying to show our people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.